for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing another grocery haul for you guys. I did one last month and I did one the month before I think. And if you guys have any other like shopping hauls you guys want me to do just leave them down in the comments and I can see if I can do something different but usually what I do is just do our Walmart pick a border and I go with that I haven't did a grocery haul yet where I actually went shopping for everything and showed you that way so usually in the last couple ones it was just mainly me going to pick up the order at Walmart so that's what we're gonna be doing today and I will show you everything that I got and then I'll kind of go over what I did last time on what I use things for um, but it seems like every time I do a grocery haul it's pretty much the same things that we get anyways on a monthly um, so maybe I'll do like the beginning of the month grocery haul and then change it and do like the end of the month grocery haul because it's gonna be a total different like Thing. So usually in the beginning of the month or whatever, we try to get everything for that part of the month and then later on we get another like little haul. So maybe I could do two in a month, we'll see. But okay, so I'm gonna turn you guys around and I will go over everything that we got today. I'm gonna start right here with the egg. I said in my last one, I don't, you guys probably won't see me with eggs because we have our own um, chickens and stuff that we get our eggs from, but they're kind of harder to do hard boiled eggs so i just got two of these um two 18 packs and we'll probably end up going through both of them for hard boiled eggs so that's why i ended up getting these this time okay so i only got two boxes of cereal this time i think last time i had so many different boxes um, but this month we just needed this because we already have some that we are using right now and then we usually get this kind of coffee so the starbucks caramel i only drink this every once in a while i do cold brew i actually have a video i can link it up above if you guys want to check out that one and um but that's usually the coffee that we get and then i wanted to try something different this time so we got the caramel macchiato creamer i'm kind of excited to try that one because that sounds really good but otherwise we do the cold coffee with the cold stone sweet cream because this one tastes so much better when we do the iced coffee with that okay so back here i have three oh no i have let's see how many do i have i have two packages of hamburger buns and that's going to be for our sloppy joes i have one package of hot dog buns and that is going to be for hot dogs one day not all my kids eat hot dogs so that's why i only got one package the kids have been going through wraps like crazy lately like cheese wraps uh what else do we like chicken wraps and then they also do Nutella on top and bananas. I've gone over that in some of my other videos that my kids like to wrap bananas inside with Nutella. So they they like that. So we always try to get that. And then um, we also make tacos a couple times a month. Three loaves of bread. Um, we go through quite a bit of bread. Um, and this is the kind that we we like i know we don't get always get wheat or anything like that but uh we like the white bread from walmart okay and then i have two packages of this brown and serve uh rolls and last month with christmas and thanksgiving and stuff we got these and one of my kids were like can you get them again um and we usually only get these every once in a while for like um you know like a nice meal or whatever is when we get these um but he wanted to get some more so i got that okay so i'll go over our meat then what i got this month i got one three pound and this is usually what i use for when we do our meatloaf and then i have one two three four pounds of hamburger so that'll be like sloppy joe's one day and then um tacos or something another day now it's kind of hard to explain how we do things because when we make a lot of meals my husband's not home 
for like lunch meals. And a lot of times this is kind of like lunch meals. And then this would be like a meal at nighttime. So so if I'm saying like we're only using two pounds for lunch, that's kind of what my kids do. And then we have like side stuff to go with that. Okay, so we got some baking bits because my kids have been into doing omelets or like one of my ch one of my children like eating salads with baking bits. But otherwise, they've been liking this with omelets. Um, I got a little ham, um, and we also like pair this with other things also. And then here's our hot dogs for um, maybe a lunch, and then I have two things of chicken. One of these is going to be used for one of my videos coming up for my slow cooker recipe. So that is going to be coming out soon. And then I have these two roast. And it seems like every time that I get this kind from Walmart, my kids like it versus um, a different kind that they have there. They don't, they usually only like this kind and it tastes really good. Um, so with this, we usually put it in a crock pot. Well, maybe I won't tell you because I'll do another video with that or something. But so we'll be, last time that I got one roast, it wasn't enough for everybody. So I, that's why I got two this time. Okay, so I think that's it for our meat. Um, and we get things as we go through the month. So this is just kind of like a starter. Okay, uh, we got three packages of mozzarella sticks, and this is another lunch thing where we will do this on the side. So I got three boxes of them. Um, with my order, now my husband picked up the order, so I wasn't able to look at the thing, like if they change things in your order. Usually they do a really good job on changing. Now I asked for breaded shrimp and I got shrimp scampi, which I'm fine with that. Um, but I sh should have maybe went on and checked that. But anyways, th this is okay. And then I saw this on there and I thought that would be maybe something good to eat. So, um, bread and mushrooms, I'll probably be the only one eating them because I'm the only one that likes mushrooms here. I got two packages of strawberry toaster strudels. My kids, um, have been backing down a little bit on these. If you guys saw on my other grocery hauls, you would know that we had like so many packages of them and now they kind of are like sick of eating them. So I only have the two packages. All right. So for pizza, we always been getting lately the Red Baron. My kids like the home run. And then uh, we have a couple Jack's pizzas. So I think I got like two pepperoni and one cheese. My kids are very plain and don't like a lot of stuff unless it's like salsa or different things like that, then they'll eat that. But usually if you see anything crazy with our pizzas, it's usually mine or my husband's. So otherwise the kids is pretty plain. Um, I got some garlic because we are going to be making salsa. So a lot of the things that I have here today is uh, for us to make salsa. And then I have two of these right now and my kids use this on their waffles or in their cereal or whatever they want to use this for. Otherwise, they just put it in a bowl and eat it that way. Um, I have, we'll move on to the yogurt because we always have yogurt in our order. So I have two of these, plain vanilla yogurt, and then they usually add M&Ms to that. The last couple times I got the Greek vanilla and they seemed to like that one. And then um, I had a recipe on Instagram that somebody shared that she added like nuts and um, nut butter and all this stuff to it. And so I still haven't tried it out yet, but my kids ended up getting to this and they liked it. Um, so we have two packages of these and there's only four in a package and I have eight kids in the house. So they have to pick and choose and once they're gone, they're gone. I have two packages of go -Gurts. I have strawberry. And then on here, my kids are really into the Mandalorian right now and I have Berry Bounty and Cherry Galaxy. So that's what we have for that. And then if you guys saw on some of my other videos, we've been getting these flip uh, Chobani 
yogurts and we like the almond coco loco um we accidentally got these last time and my kids like it it's the coffee brownie bliss and then my other child wanted the key lime uh crumble so them are the three that we usually get now lately and they really like that okay so i think we'll move on to like dairy and all of that so i have mild cheddar i have mozzarella Kobe Jack and Monterey Jack. I have Parmesan and I have taco blend. So we usually do like for this, it would be tacos and uh, just cheese wraps. And then for uh, the mozzarella, uh, my son would do quesadillas and some Kobe Jack, like if we have tacos and stuff. And then Parmesan also if we make like homemade pizza. So I got that. And then we like this kind of Parmesan, the um, more coarse or the shredded kind, and we'll add that to our salads or to our spaghetti. Okay, and then I have two things of butter. We go through a lot of butter, so this is just kind of like, like a little refill of what we need, so. And then I have some French onion dip. I also got the chips that we always go with this. Um, so we get the jalapeno chips and eat it with our French onion dip. This, I got a different kind of hummus this time. I got spinach and artichoke dip. I usually eat it with pretzels. Um, and I think I got that with this order too, is some pretzels. So I'll be showing you guys that. All right. So we also got um, the Smucker's Grape Jelly. We don't always get this. This is just something fun that kids can pull out and get. We also got the Skippy Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. We don't usually get natural, but I think that's one of the substitutes that they that they did. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to the fruits and vegetables this time. So we got a cantaloupe. I got onions for chili and for salsa i got a whole big full of honey crisp apples i have two extra ones because i didn't see that they had a bag so i ended up just leaving them in the thing so that's why them are separate from these i have a package of grapes that doesn't look like a full package hopefully they weighed it out to what the price should be a package of strawberries, a package of blueberries. We already have some in the fridge, so that's why I only have one of these. I have um, a package of lettuce for salad. Um, Miles usually eats that with me. And then I have four um, bunches of broccoli. I have two cucumbers. I have a package of celery, and the celery I'll probably be using with um, my hummus also. And then I have cauliflower. So with the broccoli and cauliflower, flour, we usually steam them, and that's how we like put that on the side of whatever dish that we're making. So we also have bananas, and then we also have a package of cuties. Okay, so I also got a bunch of cilantro, because this will be for the salsa and then a couple jalapenos that, that we will be adding to our salsa also. Okay, so I think that was it for like the fruits and vegetables. Now I'll go on to like the canned goods and seasonings and sauces and stuff like that. So I have a pizza sauce here for the quesadillas. I have our spaghetti sauce and we I think we have more out, in the, out where we put our stuff. Um, and then I have Italian dressing because we have bread the breadsticks this time. Oh, I didn't go over that yet, but I have breadsticks. Um, some sour cream. I have some queso because we make uh, chicken nachos with that kind of queso. Just regular salsa. Um, some cocktail sauce. On one of my other videos, I showed told you guys that we usually get our cocktail, cocktail sauce at festival, but uh, we were kind of running out a little bit, so I wanted to get another one. Uh, some Worcester sauce. We have that with our hamburgers. And then A1 sauce with like pork chops and stuff like that. So we have that. Um, 
And then we have two kinds of applesauce. So we have the original applesauce and then strawberry. So we have um, six applesauces all together. And the kids can kind of like grab these as, you know, as they want. But once they're gone, they're gone. So we don't always do like this kind of stuff all the time. It's like maybe once a month or whatever. And then that's it. Um, we got the Miles Rotel. I got two cans because we are going to be making salsa. Um, my son likes this nacho cheese, so he heats that up for himself. And then I also have two cans of whole tomatoes, and that is also going to be for our salsa. Um, and I also have more Rotel. If you guys want, I'll leave the recipe for this up above also because Gage made the salsa one day or made his salsa one day, and uh, you guys can check that video out. So I have a can of black olives, and I think I have two cans of black olives. Sometimes my kids just didn't like to eat it that way. And then I have one, two, three, four, let's see, I think five cans of whole potatoes. Sometimes this is just easier for me to just pull out and make it instead of having to make regular potatoes. Um, so I have three things of mamwich. My 15 year old likes to make this for sloppy joes, but we also like to make it homemade also with um, using a seasoning pack from the store or whatever. So um, both ways we enjoy eating them. Okay, and then as for soda, I got Dr. Thunder, Dr. Pepper, and Dr. Pepper Diet. Um, I don't usually get the Dr. Thunder, but these two are usually the ones that I end up getting. Um, my husband drinks Coke, but he ends up getting his own because he drinks the um, like Mexican bottled Coke, and he likes that better. But otherwise, this is just more or less for me. Um, I have one, two, three, four gallons of milk. I think we go through two gallons almost a day, I think, of milk. So we go through quite a bit of milk. This is just a treat. Once it's gone, it's gone. I've said that in my other videos. We don't always do that. Um, we got two packages of ranch Doritos. We have one package of cheese because we don't go through these as much as the ranch. Um, we like to eat the regular plain kind with our salsa. And then this is, these are the chips that we eat with the French onion dip. And I've told you that I got in a couple other videos that we like that. Here are my pretzels for my hummus. And then I got sun chips, the garden salsa. I have the French onion and another bag of the jalapeno kind and then a classic bag of potato chips and this we would eat with our um, sloppy joes all right so we also got a thing of whipped cream and we use this for our um, waffles okay so as for like the frozen foods my kids like the famous seasoned fries. And then um, we got a package of crispy chicken strips. They like the Arby's curly fries. And the popcorn chicken we got. And then I also got some plain fries, the crinkle cut. And I have two bags of them. And then I also have another bag of the Arby's curly fries. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five packages of um, breadsticks. And we usually go, we were doing two boxes at a time. And now we kind of need like three boxes um, just because we eat this with the uh, Olive Garden uh, dressing, so we really like them. We go through waffles quite a bit because we eat them almost every day unless the kids are eating cereal. I have two 
of these um, Kool-Aid jammers. I accidentally bought these one time and they're not expensive at all. They're like, how many are in here? Uh, let's see ones. There's 10 pouches in here for a $1.50 or something like that. So once these are gone, they're gone. So some of the things, once they're gone, they're gone. That's all we get for them. We don't uh, get any more. So God couple packages of Kool-Aid. Um, we only do this every once in a while and the kids um, just make this for lunchtime. We don't usually do it for like supper or anything like that. So it's usually just at lunch and then every once in a while we will um, make that. And then they also have the Kool-Aid jammers. That's everything that I wanted to show you and everything that we got. Okay, so I think that's everything that I got on my order. I know there was a couple substitutes and that's okay. Um, it hasn't been terrible with any of the substitutes, so we really haven't had any problems. And the quality of food and everything that they pick out for us has never been terrible. So we really like doing this and it saves me a lot of time. I just sit on my phone at nighttime, pick out what I need. It gives me a budget of what I want to pay and then I go from there. So instead of me going to the store, getting a babysitter or having my, my husband watch kids, this way I can bring my kids with me and it is so much easier to do it this way. I love that they have this, but I don't know if they're going to continue to have it because Maybe once everything opens up or whatever, then they wouldn't have this to offer anymore. So, but I'd be kind of sad because it really helps me if out. If you guys have any recipes that you want to share with me that you guys do, or how do you guys uh, go about doing your grocery shopping? Do you do the online shopping or do you rather just go there and pick it out yourself? Please just leave that down in the comments down below and just let me know what you guys do with your groceries. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.